So Stonearth Alpha 12 has completely revamped the crafting mechanic. There are more crops, there are more recipes for the cook, there are more animals for the shepherd, and there's more music. So we already have our citizens rolled out. I have Theodore, Sammy, Devin, Isaiah, the Baconator, the Creator, and Tom Clark. So we're also going to go with, uh, this is pretty much stayed the same. Uh, and in terms of the gold, I'm investing in the Trapper's Knife. This is obviously the best route to go in, absolutely, uh, with the initial gold starting out. So let's go ahead and embark. Now one of the new things, one of the new changes that Alpha 12 brings is a whole new addition, or I guess a whole new look to this map. If it, if it, if it, if it ever loads up, I guess. There it goes. It looks, it looks nice, right? Uh, not only... Do the mountains look darker and they look more defined? Uh, but the the water, the water features are much bigger, uh, which is great. That's such a welcome change because they were small before, and they, uh, I don't know, they looked bad. I think now it looks good. It, they, it looks way more natural, I think. Uh, and I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to go here. Um, I don't know if I want this map. The mountains are huge now. Uh, let's go ahead and roll a few times. See, what, maybe we can kind of. Uh, maybe show you guys a little bit more about the features, but uh, I definitely am loving the starting map. Ooh, this looks kind of interesting. Yeah, this does look pretty interesting. Maybe we should go around here. Now, I don't... Technically, I don't think this is part of the mountain. Uh, this, I don't believe, is. This is showing this ele the elevation, which is nice. I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and embark here. Lots of minerals, and there's, 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 uh, there's certainly trees up there. All right. Well, maybe we can go here too. Let's just let's just settle here for now. That seems like a safe choice. But if we see something better when we load up, we'll, we'll, we'll go there. So here we are. I think things look pretty good. Um, I, I I like this spot. Although I've already built in like a land feature like this, it's kind of annoying because it is two blocks down. So I'm gonna avoid that for now. I would now. Ultimately, my goal was to. Uh, so here looks looks like this is what the uh, the map was trying to show us. This is on the mountain, but it has a lot of a lot of trees on it. I'm wondering if there's gonna if they're gonna make this a little bit more sustainable slightly more sustainable to settle like a little colony up here you know still obviously it being hard um but i'm wondering if they're going to kind of increase the difficulty by having like features like this where there's at least trees um but it's on the mountains so that you'd have a kind of a food problem let me think here uh i wanted to really kind of get a valley going i really wanted to kind of find a little almost if you guys know lord of the ring references minis no not minis Tirith, uh uh maybe minis Tirith, kind of like that i wanted to go next to a mountain and, and kind of have a big old castle wall. I don't think we've done much experience, or we don't. We, I don't have too much experience building castle walls, but that would have been something I, I really I wanted to do for a while. Let's, let's try on this side. Uh, there's really kind of nothing. I guess what we'll do is, I mean, I could always go in this small area. Now, one thing that Alpha 12 does bring is that now we can plant trees. We can replant trees, so that's going to be a big deal. Um, you know, for now, I'm going to go ahead and place it here. This is probably not going to be the colony that we stay in for forever. Uh, we'll keep it with, uh, you know, I'm going to keep it that comfort. We'll go crack comfort. There we go. Um, this is probably not going to be a, uh, a, a, the, the settlement that we stay in this entire series for. Uh, we all know this is pre alpha 12 and I'm sure saves will break. This is kind of going to be more of like an experimental thing to look at, you know, what are all the new features coming to alpha 12 and stone hearth. Uh, so yeah, that's just something to keep you guys, uh, just kind of keep that in mind that we probably, this won't be our, like our big, big town. Uh, I'm going to wait for a more stable branch for alpha 12 to be released. So for now this will do, uh, everything seems, I mean, most seems, most things seem to be quite the same uh i do love the new look to these uh, these trees uh there is kind of these new trees they're not all these kind of block sort of things i like it i really really like it also when trees fall apparently uh saplings will also drop down so we got to set up our stockpile let's go ahead and just do it in the corner for now it's really really nice that we settled next to uh this berry bush that's obviously a, an excellent source of food early on and that might be able to give us citizens faster than than initially i know that it's been a while since i've settled next to a berry bush all right so put everything in there for now so one thing that's changed is um well, we have the trapper's knife and, and let's go ahead and make sure that we assign somebody for now let's 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 first before we just kind of jump into it let's i do want to look at stats here uh so isaiah is pretty good five six uh, five mind six body i like that three spirit you know what? let's just make isaiah the uh the carpenter, I mean. Let's make him the carpenter. Let's change his job, and boom, he'll pick up the saw. So one thing that has changed, and we're going to have to wait for him to actually go and grab it, is that uh, there are, there are going to be separate crafting tools or workbenches. So there, there's this new icon here in the UI, which is obviously pretty nice. Um, and that's going to make things a lot easier. Now you don't have to actually go to the, the, the workbench itself. 
to be able to kind of click on it and then work things from there. You can just click on one of these buttons and it's gonna pop up in the window. Um, so one, one nice thing is that now everything is global. These, these, if let's say we have like three crafters, all I have to do is go to this window and everything is going to be addressed from this single, the single window. It doesn't matter how far the carpenters are away, I can have them build 50 fences and all three of them in the world will be working on those 50 senses, uh, fences. So it is a global workshop now or a global carpenting, crafting order sort of window, which is obviously amazing. It is amazing. Gone are the days of having to like really, oh geez, uh, you know, what's the word? It's kind of single out every single workbench and making sure that everyone is working. It's like everything is going to be so much more simpler now, obviously, needless to say. So we have to put down a carpenter's workbench. So we have to make him make that first. I don't know if I if I just don't know this yet or if I don't have I don't have it completely down, but it seems like right now the only way you can construct the initial workbench is you wait for him to construct it out of nowhere and then you put it down from there. I don't I might be smoking crack there. But I really don't like that. I am. I, I can almost guarantee that that's going to change. I hate that. Uh, but yeah, for now, I think I think it might just be kind of a pre-alpha thing. But uh, yeah, so there it is. So here's our first carpenter workbench, and this is what I was talking about. Now there's going to be a next workbench that we can build up. We have to wait for the carpenter to reach level two though, and uh, this is going to allow for fancier tour, uh, tools, uh, allowing the carpenter to work with you know cloth and other civilian ingredients civilized ingredients so mainly that means like the uh the comfy beds and we can look at the requirements now so not only is it going to require a certain level from the carpenter itself but it's going to require the the right workshop and as you can see it says right here carpenter tool bench um not the carpenter workbench which we have uh what is this a grizzly traveler wow it's pretty early oh good he's going to give us turnips and a basket two baskets of corn very nice Let's go ahead and stop this. So that goes the same for almost everything, uh, including the weaver, the mason, I think everything in general. Um, for sure the weaver, the weaver's a big one. You now have to build like three different uh, sorts of, I don't know what they're technically called. They're not all workbenches, but you have to build like three different different separate ones to, to, kind, of, to kind of be able to build all the normal things that the weaver used to be able to build, which is good. It really... Depth needs to be added to this game, and I really think that's a good direction to go in. Uh, I think we still they still need to flesh out a few details, but for now, it's a, I think it's a it's a welcome change for me at least. Uh, so let's go ahead and check on speed here. I would like someone fast to oh look at this this is this has changed drastically. Now you can look at I don't know actually this is might have always been there, but it looks like the morale tab is bringing up the journal uh, log, which is nice. Here's speed. Yeah, so this is it looks like a little bit more. I don't know if they had morale before or job abilities. Hmm, job abilities, I think, might be the new tab. I'm not sure. Here's speed, though. Okay, so we have... Who's the fastest? We have the crater pretty fast. Ooh, Sammy. There we go. He's, he's 103. Yeah. Oh, Theodore. Okay, there you go, Theodore. Good job. We're going to make you... Oh, you're good all around. 654. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, you'll be a really good carpenter. Or, I'm sorry, a trapper. Especially because the trapper's got to go without, out there. They're the ones that kind of have the most dangerous jobs. Early on, at least. Uh, that's, that's, of course, if you tried to go trapper's knife first. But let's go ahead and have him kind of set up his his region around. I guess we'll go here. I don't see. We don't need any wild animals. I always forget that. I know that that was like a that was like probably a thing that was required a long time ago in Stonehearth, like Stonehearth Alpha Six or something like that. But uh, it used to be you had to look for actual wildlife before you can put down the trapping territory. I'm pretty sure now you can put it down anywhere and you'll eventually catch things. But we'll see. That might not be the case. Why is this still? I don't know why. There are those icons there. Uh, again, pre-alpha, but I could be also missing certain things. Okay, so we slapped down the workbench. Let's go ahead and make sure that we... Well, we should probably start building things. We've got sources of wood. We should probably build a small shelter, something very brief for now. I'll probably just build a template. Um, this has obviously been cleaned up a little bit. Let's build a tiny cottage. Actually, I think it's only been cleaned up because I had to uh, reinstall Stonehearth, so I, I lost all those like random templates that I couldn't build anymore from previous alphas. So yeah, I guess we'll kind of build... Let's build here, right on the corner. I like that. Finish editing. Uh, of course, we're going to need ourselves a wooden door, uh, a wooden window frame, mean bed, a lantern, and, uh, yeah, four wooden logs. All right, but that won't be too too difficult to build. But while they're doing that, I want to make sure that... Um, I want to make sure that our carpenter is continuing to work to get to carpenter level two. I'd like to obviously build the tool bench at some point to kind of, to kind of show you guys uh, that feature. Uh, also, there's a Q feature now. So if you don't have... The right, like here we go, we don't have any flowers. So I could technically build this Q order anyway. Uh, why crafting requirement unmet? 
Uh, I don't know why that's not queuing anyways. Oh, we, we reached level one though. Oh, can it, can it queue in now? Is it, is it because this requires a, uh, oh, carpenter workbench? Not sure, but all I know is that you can do, you can queue things now and it will skip over uh, that resource. So if you don't have the resources, let's because we don't have the, the flowers, what it's supposed to do is it'll be up here, it'll show that it's here, but the carpenter's smart enough now where it'll just skip over that and work on the next thing. That's something that we've never had before. It's such a nice luxury now in Stonehearth. It's becoming a lot more efficient now. It's, it's coming a lot more, I guess, user-friendly is the word. Uh, let's build ourselves a window. Probably another door because I know we're going to need more doors in the future. Certainly a lantern. And uh, maybe a few fences. You guys know how I love to build fences. Oh, we definitely need a bed. And we'll build a few fences so we can get them to level 2 carpenter status. Uh, actually, before before we build all those fences, though, let's go ahead and explore. We need a farmer because the berry bushes are not going to last us for very long. Uh, we'll build, like, one of each item. That's still not queuing. Not sure what's going on there. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to queue. Oh, oh, this, this queued. Oh, maybe it's because I didn't have the level. I'm not sure, but yeah, so here's here's what I'm talking about. It'll show a little icon, and uh, it says that, you know, it's going to skip over this. So we could have it here, we could have it all the way in the front, and the carpenter will just automatically skip over it and work on the next thing. That's amazing. No longer will you be sitting there not doing anything because you don't have one source of stone or something like that, something ridiculous like that. So anyways, this is perfect. I want to move down the fences, and uh, we should probably try to gather up. Isaiah's doing a very good job. He's already reached level 2 of carpenting status. Good job, Isaiah, and uh, let's go ahead and throw this down. Very good. We'll kind of build that soon so we get the tool bench out. And let's start to chop down these trees. Actually, I probably shouldn't do this while we're working on, on things like that. Yeah, that's probably not the best idea. I might try to chop down like one or two of these stones. That way we get at least one stone resource so we can get the mason, uh, the hammer and, and chisel or something like that. The mason's hammer, something like that. I don't know. All right, so I don't know if we're gonna finish this uh, this first shelter by the end of uh, by the by nightfall, but hopefully we get enough to, uh, enough of the requirements so we get the next citizen. Now that would be amazing, needless to say. Uh, if we can get the next citizen already, something that usually doesn't pop up for me first day at least. All right, but we're gonna go ahead and go speed three here. I think we can go we can work a little bit faster. What is this? Oh yeah, we knew about that. As long as Isaiah is continuing to work things, kind of don't want to hire anybody else, even though we probably can. I believe we can. Um, do I need, I already have this stuff. So yeah, it'll mark in red if I don't have the, yeah, there it is. So that's awesome. So it'll be green fonts if you can build it, uh, red font if there's something wrong. What was that other red? I thought I just saw red uh, over here. I guess not. I'm smoking crack, clearly. Let's build one of these, uh, these, I'm thinking a, a, a worker's wall mounted sign. I really like those signs. A carpenter, I, I should say. All right, so build this eventually. See, look, he skipped over it right there. That is awesome. That is really, really cool. So much nicer. It's amazing. Someone gonna start the fire or what? Come on, guys. Do it. Good job. Good, good job, Sammy. You're fast. Of course. You're gonna be you're gonna be first at the scene all the time. And boom, yeah, this is working. Eventually we'll catch something, I'm assuming. He's probably gonna do it right now. Oh no, he said it. Oh, this guy's too smart. No raccoon for us. I don't think so. Carpenter level three already for Isaiah. This is good. Uh I guess we will. Yeah, snared. Trapped by a snare and... Oh, oh, he just got trapped. Okay, nice. So he's not that smart. He wasn't smart enough to escape twice. Oh, and something that's really nice, that something that I absolutely love that probably not many of you guys will care, but oh my goodness, they actually have included a quit to menu uh, button. Quit to main menu button. I don't know if that was in there for Alpha 11. I don't think it was, but man, it sucked having to quit the game and then load it back up. It wasn't that big of a deal, but man, I absolutely love that change. That's like one of my favorite changes. Uh, and the music is obviously one of my favorite changes as well. I was getting really tired of the old music, and I I love the music of Stonehearth. So having additional music from this from the uh, uh, from the composer, I think this guy's a genius. So I think it's it's great to have you know additional music finally introduced to Stonehearth. I've, I've been waiting for the music for way too long. I've been I was way too excited to see that they had announced new music for Alpha Twelve. All right, so we finished this up. So someone's gonna be able to sleep uh, in here tonight. I'm not sure who's it's gonna be. Oh, I guess uh, I guess it's gonna be Devin. There you go, Devin. Good job. Maybe we should build one more bed. Maybe. Although if we build one more bed, I don't know where we're gonna put this uh, this workbench at. But let's go ahead and build the bed just for the sake of things. Do that there. Move the fences. It does seem like the produ the productivity is increased here. Okay, and then we'd also have to kind of search for that work bench that we had kind of built up. I don't know where it went. It might be just someplace random. 
Actually, I could probably go into my uh, list. Oh, nice. Nice. He leveled up. So Theodore is even faster than before. 10% extra. So you're talking about extra 13 stat uh, points stat on that stat of speed. That is amazing. Okay, so let's go inside here. Look at our inventory. This is where we should be able to look for our tool bench. There we go. But I don't think we can put it down from here. We actually probably are going to have to navigate it by going here and then going there. I think that's the only way to do it, but I'm, I, again, I might be smoking crack. So yeah, now the carpenter can work this tool bench, which is going to allow him to build like cloths and more fancier uh, items, which like, like I said, is, is a welcome change. All right. So I don't know if we put down, I don't know if there's been another bed. Is there another bed? We've not finished the bed yet, but we have finished the fences, which is nice. What is this? Oh, nothing. Okay. I was just wondering. And yes, of course, harvest that. I believe the, yeah, there we go. Uh, hotkey is H. I'm wondering if that icon's going to go right there. We go. Okay, that's better. All right, really nice. We've got a really nice setup here. Did we even finish the... Uh, that That's not supposed to be there. All right, daily update. Come on, let's cross our fingers. We got the food. We don't have the net worth. Oh, come on. Of all things, the net worth. We could have added someone so fast. All right, well, we need to work on the next tiny cottage. Uh, let's make sure that we do that. And uh, let's go here. Also, let's get a farmer down now. Okay, finish the edit, and boom. All right, so let's hire let's hire somebody as a farmer. Again, uh, farming is good for speed. I, I like you know workers that have good speed to be the farmer. So Sammy will be the the farmer, and we'll probably have him work on the new crop of wheat. Uh, I believe wheat might be the only crop. We'll we'll see. We'll see right now. We're, we're gonna find out actually right now. Right now. Uh, let's go here. Actually, you know what else you can build? You can build uh, saplings. So we have, we've knew about turnips, carrots, corn, there's wheat, uh, amber wave of grain. Now, I believe the wheat, we'll have to check on the cook's recipes, but obviously wheat will probably be introduced there, I think. I think, yeah, like bread and stuff, right? I don't know. Uh, and then here's the, here it is, oak tree sapling. Uh, out of trees, get ready to participate in reforestation. Reforestation, that's awesome. So that's really, really cool. So yeah, I guess we'll build wheat for now, uh, even though I don't know if it's really going to be able to help us that much without a cook. Uh, I, I just kind of explore the, again, I'm not trying to have the most optimal game here. We're trying to go over the brief, you know, Alpha 12 mechanics before we kind of start something super serious with this series here. So let's try for, I'm thinking, I do like carrots. Carrots are pretty fast, right? Fast growing, but pretty bland. I mean, turnips would probably be the best, but they're not going to, they're not going to be happy with it. Okay, let's go with turnips, I guess. And uh, I don't think I'm going to buy anything just yet. I don't, I don't have anything to sell for now. I like to keep all the food. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. If you guys like the series, if you guys like Stonehearth, you like when I review Stonehearth, uh, please consider leaving this video a like. It really helps out tremendously. I absolutely love this game. I always continue to go back to it. I, I, I can't get enough of it. It's just, it's, there's just something here that I really, really like in this game. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.